That was hard like... I'm unilaterally declaring this the beginning of the episode. I know it's not. I know it's not 13. Are you I think sure? it's 12. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't remember. T I don't remember typing t episode twelve in any of our files. I feel. I feel I virtually, uh, virtually certain. Uh. Let's leave it up to the audience. Audience, send an email to <laughs> Baxter Rollins at color episode. Uh, Dragon Ball Z the movie. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope to your mom's house and have her write a check to me personally for $15. Wait, what? Where are we? What are we doing? We're in... So we have Naomi what? with us. Yeah. Hi, Naomi. How have you been? Haven't seen you in a while. She's a telepath. She doesn't have time to talk to plebeians like you, Andrew. Did, did, did you ever get that, that thing fixed? What thing? You no. Know, the, the broken you machine? Know, Naomi, that, oh, mm, oh. Uh, Look, we're, not, we're trying not to talk about that. Bugs! Bugs. Okay, wait a minute. Timestamp. It is. 9.43 p.m. Sorry, 9.45 p.m. On Saturday, February... <laughs> 10th? No. Dang it! Friday was the 8th, I think, so I think it's the 9th. Okay, then... February 9th... 3,000... Thirteen. This is an outrage, and I hate you. And... We're coming to you from the future, after we've figured out how to do that. <laughs> we are the lamest time-traveling tourists in history. All we could think to do in the past was play Earthbound. <laughs> we have a time-travel device, and this is the best we can do. Well, we, we, we went back and we killed Hitler, but killing Hitler resulted in Hideo Kojima never making hilariously bizarre video games. And, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Did, did Kojima make this game? I have no idea who made this game. No. Kojima didn't make this game. No, he, he's, the, he's the Metal Gear guy. Yeah. He, did, he, had, he had no part in Mother 2. <laughs> Mother 3 uh, on on some sort of list. Get ready to come out soon. Oh wait, oh oh my god, really in English? I think so, I think well or it was uh it's on some sort of list that of games that that are will potentially come out soon. I don't know. I, I hate you. what I heard. I heard some news. That's the end of that. <laughs> so I watched the news this morning. Anyway. And learned nothing. Yeah. You can't learn anything from the news. It's all the news flim flam and people beaming their thoughts into your head in spite of your helmet. This is stupid. This... Sorry, go ahead. Check out this typeface that they use on the uh like status rectangle at the bottom. How the uh the L is like a capital L, but the capital M is just a taller lowercase N. Yeah, I like their lowercase M as well. And the M is pretty cool, but you you have to expect that from a game called Mother. That you got you got to get them on the first letter. <laughs> That's a selling point. Game of the year 1993, best M's, Mother Two. <laughs> the, the, this award has only been given once since to Metroid the other M. <laughs> no, that was a totally different award, because that was the uh, best other M. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't judge M's and other M's on the same scale. Yeah, that's that's just, that, that way lies madness. 
Uh, so we, we need to uh, gotta come up with a plan here. I think yeah, that the next should... story thing is gonna happen at the Chaos Theater. Uh, no, because you go... I think the next story thing is go through that tunnel. I think you need to try to go through that tunnel again. I think those ghosts weren't those ghosts blue. Were they? I think they're gonna be unblue now. However, we do have backstage passes to this this concert, so I think. Oh, okay, that's that's probably is that what we got from Car Painter? Uh, uh, when I came back here and talked to these guys, they were like, "Hey, you brought that girl back. Check out these backstage passes." So Wait, I don't know if that's. Maybe what? this is episode thirteen. Maybe twelve is when we we beat Car. Because I. I might have completely blocked out the memory of beating Carpenter, because what I remember is is us stopping right before we entered the room to fight him. I think that was episode 11. Okay, so, so we I did do 12 was when we busted Carpenter's ass. Sorry, guys, I was sick last weekend, and two weeks between these things is just, just poison. by a profound madness. I've got, I mean... I've got so many other things going on, I can't keep up with Earthbound. I have literally nothing else going on, so I have no excuse. And I'm in perfect health, and I'm gorgeous. So, well, no excuses here. Mr. Why don't you just remember everything, then? Uh... Why don't I just get you to do my taxes or something? I did my taxes, I owe the state like 20 bucks. So I hate that. Anyway, the question that I have is... Should we go and and punch some stuff and get Naomi up to like level fifteen or something, which should go really quickly? Because Didn't she's... we fight some bears with her? And, and we never fought her... bears. She's she's she just turned level nine in that last battle. So I want to. We did... Do you think we, oh, should... we never fought a bear with Naomi? No, we we did that because we did that stuff in in Happy Happy like out of order, which is why we had such a bastard of a time with the bears. We, we, like, bash our head against those bears for a really long time to power up, and then we release our angry explosion on carpet. I don't want you to go- I don't want you to go to this cave again. Uh, is it at all possible- like, can you defeat some ghosts? Uh, when we, we encountered them before- oh my god. Just beat the hell out of that plant that just keeps on coming. What? I mean, lost I, motivation. I don't think you realize I really don't want to go through this cave again. I don't want to go all the way to the bear cave, but I was thinking like maybe the area with the the weird trees and the UFOs. Are you sure? Oh, to... Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. And plus, those it's... UFOs are kind of cute. Oh my god! There's also like a million of these things. Oh god! But those UFOs make that sound. Oh yeah. Let's just kill these sprouts and get the hell out of here. Punk ass sprout. Yeah, that's right. I, I wanna, I wanna know what's going on in that cave. I mean, uh, if if you if, if you're pretty sure that that's not where we're supposed to be, I don't know what. Uh, go into the chaos theater. Okay. See what's up with that. May, maybe it's uh, maybe we'll be able to beat whatever's in there. And maybe it's just a. That's just a little reward for getting Naomi back, too. Maybe that really is just backstage. Come, what am I thinking? This is a JRPG. You don't ever just get yeah. rewarded. Well, maybe we'll just go get to see a nice little play. <laughs> maybe it'll be a mini game. That'd be kind of fun. <sighs> Let's go to the Millennial Fair and get some silver points. Go beat Gato's ass a couple times. Oh, man. Go Hell through that, uh... Yeah. That tent with the, uh... Where you have to have the points to get into the tent. Yeah. And then you get in there and it's it's like what was it, masks that you have to fight? Whoa, what? Was it dudes with shields? Look at that giant mushroom. Have we seen that before? I think it's just a regular old rambling mushroom. It's just bigger for some reason. Maybe it's just because it's in the back row. Well that's not how perspective works. <laughs> Maybe it's just a really small sprout, and it's the comparison is what's throwing us off. Maybe we're using some sort of crazy lens that <laughs> that shrinks things in the foreground. The, the lens is doing something up. weird to the backgrounds of all these battles, too, so that seems probable. 
Maybe we're just using way too much ma magic mushroom and it's given us a, or magic butterfly and it's given us a real problem. We have to put on our special battle glasses for every every one of these, and it just has this constant like like iTunes visualizer going on in the background. <laughs> the eye brain visualizer. It can it converts your your sensory input into totally useless nonsense. Speaking of totally useless nonsense. Wait, I have brand new nonsense. I have State unscripted nonsense. nonsense. Submit right. your nonsense to the committee. <laughs> <laughs> the House Committee on Nonsensical Affairs. To the Ministry of Nonsense. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, so. Oh, damn it. Okay, good. Um. The thing I was, uh, uh, when you mentioned the glasses from Persona, it reminded me of this. I was, uh, I signed up for a Crunchyroll account the other day, so I could watch some yeah. animes. It's, uh, it's like a website where you can watch anime. It's kind of like Hulu, where there's, like, ads and stuff. But just for anime? Yeah. Or I think they, they also do, like, various Asian TV shows. I remember one time I watched a, um, some, like, Korean like... drama program on there, and it was fabulous. Is it subtitled? Yeah. I think they offer both if the if the show has it. Anyway, what's funny, what's humorous is I have I've had this account for like two weeks and have yet to watch any shows. But they send me an email yep. every day with their deals in their it? store. Say again. Do you have to pay for it? Is it like you can pay for it, but it's not required. They they definitely have like a free service. Okay, so you can watch you can watch anime shows for free if you have an account. Yeah. Okay. At any rate, so they send me emails every day uh, about various deals in their store. And one of the things they sell are those, um, you've seen like the, they're not action figures, they're like little statues. Of uh, anime girls. Yeah. yeah. They, sell, they sell those, but they also sell these little posable figurines that sort of sit on a little stand and they have like a little rod that goes into their back somewhere so you can put them in whatever pose you want. And they have those for the Persona characters. I was looking at that shit on, on Amazon today. It's like a hot... I saw one of Chie for like 140 bucks. Dude, I can make I can make a Chie sculpture. Which, it's so like articulated. 140 bucks? I can make an articulated Chie... Oh, man. Wait a minute. This is going down a deep 4chan hole that I'm not sure we <laughs> need to go down. Do not put any part of your body under any circumstances into a deep 4chan hole. That is <laughs> going to end in... those <laughs> Have you seen those anime statuette threads? Yes. I know exactly yeah, what you're okay. talking about. We don't need to discuss it here on the show, but... <laughs> this is a family show, god motherfucking damn it. Simply be aware that our reference to it is sufficient, I think. At any rate, so, you found a place to buy these. And they're $140? Yeah, and even the ones that, like, seem reasonably priced up front... Uh... Hold it. I think... Don't we have, like, I a have big a, sack uh, of money? Yeah! Uh, Evangelion, one of those. A, a Rei Ayanami little statuette. It falls down, like, every week. Uh, it's, it's not balanced very well. Yeah. It has a little stand that you put her feet in. Uh... But every like every time I walk into that room, I find it on the floor. <laughs> That's like what what happened? Why can't this? Why won't this just stay up? I've tried to bend it and make it, but it's just not. I don't even want it anymore. You know, it's one of those things that I accumulated back when I was fourteen, and has just sort of hung around with me through all my wanderings. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But Wait, okay. there's no room for us to show off our latest dance moves? Fuck this game, I'm uh, out. I see a t an empty table right there. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm new to the company. Uh... Negatives. No, oh. All coyote ugly on this game. <laughs> Is the floor changing color? Yes. 
dude, Japan is crazy. The whole place is all lit up. Also, this whole show has like 14 people in it, and they say it's sold out. What are those guys holding? Are they on crutches? What is that? Oh god, why are her eyes so high in her face? <laughs> Sometimes I get sweat or spit on me from the Runaway Five. Read the uh, uh, the title of above the stage. What does that say? Is there something way? I think it's uh, the Runaway Five. Yeah. Oh, Runaway Five. Oh, it's this guy again. Oh, he already threw himself to him. No! Serpentor. Over Who? there. <laughs> Mumra, the ever living! <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Toilet poop humor in a video game. Unacceptable. Game just got relevant. <laughs> this game speaks directly to my backside. <laughs> yeah, what are fingers? <laughs> That's not as bad as salad fingers, but it's close. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, salad fingers. Oh, God, this is one of those ladies who sings along at the concert. I don't have hands. <laughs> I've got... <laughs> No, they must never know. <laughs> oh, 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 we're being presented with a choice. To of course, you're, you're you're a child in Japan. When do you think you, you like baseball? Do, do we go Renegade or Paragon? Come on! Of course we like baseball. My cap and this baseball bat I carry around and use to murder people are also dead gives away. But I didn't know. Give, gives away. Giveaways? I think it's Gives giveaways. Away? I like I like internal pluralization though. Well, but I think it would be gives away. Because why would you ever pluralize a preposition? Oh, oh this lady wants us to go back there. This rocks. Uh, oh no! Oh! I wanted to talk to Mr. T before we went in. Oh, you've seen him all over. None of these people really say anything interesting. Talk to the band. Nope. See what they have rooting through these drawers first. <sighs> Useless. Where are the drawers? <laughs> look, just don't okay. pitter patter because you're you're here with me. You're gonna make me look not cool. So come on. Talk to that like the the guy with the cello. Looks like he's wearing one of those. Uh, uh, like Chinese hats. What? <laughs> you know those little hats Chinamen wear? Oh, by bread he meant money. Oh. Bread, huh? Metaphor, huh? Wait a minute. That's not your song. That's a Beatles song. Isn't it? Freedom is what we've really sought. I wonder if I try, what happens if I try to give these dudes a fat stack of bill. Oh, sir, there oh are God, ladies he's present. speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> if I had ten thousand dollars, I could pay off my. That's not ragtime. This is rag. That's that's the blues. That's shitty white dude blues too. So that's the worst possible. I wonder if that said 10,000 yen in Japan, and it, the number got, suddenly got a lot higher when it got localized. No, 10,000 yen would be like next to nothing. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, in Japan... Oh, these guys like actually only need 10,000 yen. It's like, dude, I have 10,000 yeah. yen right here. How much, how much money do you generally carry around with you? Uh, none. I usually just carry my debit card. Okay, well that's dangerous. You always need to have some cash. Yeah. Whenever I have money, I feel like I fritter it away, though. Dude, dude, your dad gave me like 20 bucks when I didn't have any money in my wallet. What? 
Remember when I when I uh, uh, I drove to your uh, house that one time? I stayed with you for a few days. Then I was getting ready to go home, and yeah. your dad asked me how much money I had in my wallet, and uh, I said, "Oh, I have I had like like two dollars or something," and he just like straight up gave me a twenty. Nice. That's how my parents do. Oh. You need to learn from your parents, man. Always keep money in your wallet. I keep trying to hand these people this fat stack of dollar bills that I have, but they they won't take it. You need to watch. You need to watch them play their show first. They're they're more honorable than that. <sighs> they won't just take your money as charity. <laughs> I wish I had a button to take a screenshot of this right now. For God's sake, hit print screen on your computer. Wait, that's scroll lock. There's print screen. Okay. Just don't hit that again because... Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> that is exact... Thank you. <laughs> Problem solved. I want to know what this guy says now, too. Now I'll talk to that fat black dude with the tiny hat. Because really, why wouldn't you? Talk to a fat black guy with a tiny hat? <laughs> I can't think of any good reason. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at that guy. Uh, what feels? That's not funny! He, <laughs> he. <laughs> Who? 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 He. 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 Oh. 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 Mm. Oh God. Oh yeah. Why's the show starting? That's right. Shh. Quiet. The show is starting. Shh. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, hell yeah. Two microphones. Ev Solid everybody's name. gone. Nobody's <laughs> here to watch this show. They were all kit. Oh, my God. Mario and Luigi. <laughs> doing their Look at, shuffle. Listen to this, like, okay, fly-ass 16-bit funk Speed music. Speed up the moonwalk. Oh, okay, so they're supposed to be like the Blues Brothers. I get it. With their suits in there. Yeah. <laughs> this show sucks. I know who's getting a pretty poor review in tomorrow's paper. <laughs> they have microphones, but nobody's singing. I'm gonna get, da get Dan Aykroyd. So I'm gonna get kidnapped soon. <laughs> For real. The was that the show? The club better show up and <gasps> drop a chandelier on someone's ass. They played a thirty. <laughs> they played a thirty-second set and then beast out. View that photograph. There's no problem here. Great set, you cheap assholes. <laughs> No, it wasn't. I just, I just gave you guys like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> I didn't I... even get a song out of it. Do we want to see one more show? Hell no. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want to talk to Poochie Fudd? You gotta go through me, homie. Oh my God! Why did I say that? Poochie Fudd's looking for you. <laughs> Ugh. Useless. I like the click the door makes when you open it. The little kick. Yeah. I wish my doors made a cool noise like that. What the hell's with this lady? Yeah, that's right, lady. What's up, cop? Alright, we're gonna go drop this hot stack on Poochie Fudd. I'm gonna, uh, check our time. What time did I say we started? Uh... Uh... 
three. It was nine forty-five. It's nine forty-five now. No, it was nine forty-five when we started. Now it's ten oh eight. Oh, okay. So cool. We got another no, fifteen minutes, 10, 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Get that money. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Agreed. Cool. Oh no. Well, what do you know? This little what nipper here. Nipper? Oh, that's <laughs> racist, man. <laughs> <laughs> this little nipper took us from Night Manager and just runs out of the room. Room. It's directly flying behind you, mate. <laughs> Is that your Ringo impression? No, that was my terrible, like, East London garbage. Poochie Fudd is struck dumb later. So this girl has to say. Really makes you wonder why they put that character in the way if she's just gonna walk out of the way every time. Well, she she wouldn't do it before when we didn't have the pass, so I guess some stuff. They just didn't bother to program it so that <laughs> she wouldn't be there. I'm trying to figure out what what brand of bus this is. It's a Yahahur. That's an R, man. No, it's a Yahahoo, and that's an arrow pointing. This is the Yahoo. Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sweet. That's the key, huh? That's the, to deal with ghosts. You just need some some hot glass packs. Damn right, I want to ride. Yeah. It just turns out that ghosts are very sensitive uh, to loud noises. <laughs> and of course, they like backwards. <laughs> <laughs> bus just <laughs> janking sideways down the road. This bus moves. This is the best bus I've ever seen. <laughs> the Fast and the Furious 8 bit. <clears throat> Tucson Drift. Earlier today, I uh, totally wasn't really paying attention to where I was going and had to go, go to a screeching halt when I got to a red light. Oh, God. I left tire tracks on the road, and I could smell the, like, the burning rubber. Ugh. I've, I've, I've never, I've never left, um, stri- oh. They're not blue. Okay, man, I, would, I just misremembered that, but... I like how they just, they follow us for a while and then just give up. Like, nah, it's too loud, it's too loud! Boom. Devastating progress. Oh! Old lady. This game suddenly turned into, uh... A... A retelling of Almost Famous. <laughs> yeah. Here we are in three. It looks you like... what? I think this is a good stopping place. Uh, let's let's find like let's, let's find all the points of interest in three, and once we okay. find like the, like, we'll go to the hotel and see what's up. Let's see what the, the map looks like. Got the desert to the east. Uh, we never did get to our talking points. No, but that's good though, because we kept up a a lively conversation. That stuff is all backup, in case yeah, nothing sufficiently right. hilarious happens during the game. E.g., a we terrible blue. Oh. <laughs> If we have to go through battle sequences, there's the the kid from Indiana Jones too. <laughs> love that for love, Doctor Jones. <laughs> Whoa, is that guy wearing like army kit? Hey, shh. Ho ho ho! You know I'm buying, baby. Yeah, buy from that army guy. Ooh, who uses the? Toy air gun. What the hell is Rust Promoter? Maybe that's Rob Z. No. Cool. 
I'm glad there's like a creepy drug dealer behind the pizza place selling toy toy air guns. Oh, people I, in this town, really? Come on, guys. Was was airsoft a thing in 1993? I don't know, but there were still surely there were like, oh god, those things are moving really fast. A uh, a graveyard. Look out. Okay, wait. What's the over and under? Zombies. You think it's zombies? Will they happen? Is someone gonna pop out of those graves? I, I feel it is a virtual cert. Don't enter. It's like, look out of these bodies, man. What do you want me to do with these bodies if I'm not gonna put them? It says don't enter. It doesn't say anything about exiting. <laughs> trash, trash, garbage. Go into that little uh, cottage there. Yeah! That Got that teddy bear. Oh, read the sign first, yeah. Hint shop. Oh, this is the hint shop. Let's, uh. Let's, let's invest in a hint. Wow, wow. Wait a minute, youngster. Oh, for sure. Tunnel. Zombies. Boom. Yep. Tagged it. Oh, okay. Gregarious zombies. You say the northwest of town? Yes. I choose to believe that you're right. What? You don't know which direction is north or west. True. Uh... Oh. Not this douchebag again. Come on! Stop creebling around in the cemetery, weirdo. Just give me the camera, and I will take <laughs> pictures. I will bring this back to you. I will say fuzzy pickles before every shot. You bastard. We're kind of obscured by this tree. That was a pretty <laughs> terrible picture. At least I covered the teddy bear. Oh! <laughs> Just ringing. triggered like every event. Oh. Hey, Dad. Uh, no. No. Well, I kind of got on this bus with this band, and... <laughs> I got this teddy bear following We ended up in Breed, and... Man, I don't even remember what happened. <laughs> Last thing I remember, I was doing lines off of Naomi's ass. Lines of pixie sticks. Come on, people, this is a family show. <laughs> doing lines of pixie sticks. Off Naomi's ass. <laughs> Family. <laughs> Family style pixie sticks. Disaster. That sign says do not enter, but you just went around and entered from the other side. That's right, because that's how we do it. I don't believe in that sign. I think that's a, a fraudulent sign. Ooh, I think that's the tunnel. Oh, crap. You mean that forest? One of those oh, trash cans just moved. Like the trees. Remember the moving trees? Except these are moving trash. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Beat it. Punch it. Whack it with your bat. Ah, for the land! Oh god, there's two of them. Use your amazing boy powers on it. <laughs> I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them the hot business because I don't know how strong these things are. Wouldn't it be great if if one of the enemies in this game were just Oscar the Grouch. Yes. Talk about Muppet combat. <laughs> Intolerable. Oh dear. Look at that! Look at that thing! It's just a living pile of garbage. I think the right looks kind of like something from Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah. Well. Kind of grosser than Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah. That thing on the left, or what was once on the left, which I don't know what that is. All right. Boys. Get that present. A broken iron. Yeah, you damn right, Naomi took the iron. It's a woman's work. What's in that trash can that wasn't a monster? If there's another monster, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh yeah! Insect spot spray. 
Maybe, maybe just having that will keep the insects from attacking you. <laughs> Contraption that looks like an iron. Oh. Oh. Great, great. More broken garbage to be in my friggin' inventory and, like, oh, prevent me a, from... you have a whole new inventory system now. Don't complain about that. You see both pages of our inventory? You have a whole slot that's unfilled. <laughs> that's what she said. That, that wasn't... Um, no. I, I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please pray for my forgiveness. I'm gonna hit these dudes with the red-hot flames. Hit them with your alpha. PSI fire alpha. <laughs> How many pounds per square inch is that fire alpha? I think I've made that joke every episode. I certainly hope so. It's called Moldy Man. Kill it for God's sake. At last. Boom. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Really? Ditch it. Don't need it. What do we need all these irons for? Sci free kids. We're wearing jeans and t shirts and stuff. Who irons jeans? We'll be able to sell it. Let's, uh. Let's get the hell out of this place. Oh no. It's a proper ghost. No! Yeah, don't, don't touch that ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Except for that one. I also don't want to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, man. I'm not afraid of no ghost. But I don't have time for ghosts either. I'm too boozy for ghosts. Uh, That's what she said. God. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. What belongs in that cage? Uh, what? What's that cage doing there? <laughs> Is there a lion or something that escaped? Are we gonna have to fight a lion? I hope so. It's always been my dream to beat a lion with a bat. Wow. These towns are all full of the same people. It's like Springfield and Shelbyville. <laughs> I like this guy's style. We got zombies and we got ghosts. Welcome to town, asshole. And it just so happened that happens that he looks a lot like Jason. Yeah. That's how you know he's legit. Is Jason a zombie? No, he's like the ever-living, like, incarnation of his mother's hatred for the Crystal Lake or something. He, he's, he's not like, he, he's not like a physical body. Uh, like, that's, it's he's not sure, a, it's not a sure human body. He uses physical knives and uh, stuff. To... Like, he, he's not a human body. It's, it's some other thing that's, like, animating his... whatever. But he oh, still looks all gross and stuff, and, you know, he he's in a very physical coffin, and they dig him up, and... Do they? Yeah. And there's that glowing triangle on his tombstone. That, like... and then he pops up and... I should probably mention this, that I've never seen Jason. Any of the Jason movies, or the Friday... Well, that's not the Friday the 13th movie, is that... Yeah, wait. Friday the 13th. Okay. What's the one with, with Freddy Krueger? Is that... That's, that's Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. Yeah, okay. Friday yeah. the 13th... The first one's pretty boring, but when they when they get crazy, then they get good. Yeah. Generally, the, the dumber a horror movie is, the better. Oh, to well... I, on on Netflix, I saw a movie called Teeth. It wasn't very good. <laughs> it was pretty dumb. Is that the one where the good. the lady's cooter has like teeth in it? Yeah. <laughs> because you never get to see it, you know. Because they're 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 they avoid showing just a vagina open up with teeth in it. Yeah. But 
And that's what you want to see. That's why you come to this movie. Yeah. In this movie. Never mind. Oh, yeah, no, oh, God dang it. Ugh. Cross on. Yes. Yes. I'd like to buy something. I'd like a thick frying pan. Yeah, I'm gonna carry it. Yes. Yeah. And does she have anything equipped right now? She had a frying pan. Oh, Apparently her, her, her weapons are all frying pans. Uh, and I'd like to buy a... Hard hat. Because I don't think Naomi has one right now. Naomi! Whoa, what? No! Wait, what, ju what just happened? Uh, apparently her defense actually went down. Oh. Whatever she had on before was, was superior. Sell it back. Yeah, for real. She's wearing a ribbon in her hair. She apparently does a better job of protecting your brain than a ribbon. Hey. Other than a hard hat, rather. Who knows with ghosts, man? <laughs> ghosts can punch right through a hard hat. True, true. God, now I have to go through this rigmarole. Could you imagine being ten years old and just walking around with three thousand dollars? God, that would rule. And that would be terrible because I would make incredibly stupid decisions with it. Well, yeah, but well, they wouldn't be stupid decisions because they they'd be exactly what you wanted to do. Yeah, but I would have stupid ideas. I'd have a lot of Legos. A lot of Legos for three thousand. That's an investment I can get behind. Alright, now we're in business. That when I was ten years up. old, what was I mean, I went through through periods where I was interested in Legos for many years. Yeah. So it usually happened about once per year I would get into Legos again. Um But in the meantime, I think I was into Star Wars figures when I was ten. And I was buying buying a bunch of that. Uh, man, what was I doing when I was ten? Like a Super Nintendo, maybe an N sixty four. No, we had we had six, N sixty four by the time we were ten. Okay. We, I I I would have turned ten in in ninety six. So, and Super Nintendo came out in the year before that, I think ninety five. Does that sound right to you? Maybe it was ninety six. No, it couldn't have been that late. I can't remember. Oh, I'm afraid of... No, it was... It was at least 96 when it came out. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> it was It was somewhere right around then. I wonder what the next town is called. Look at this creepy guy. Hmm. Let's speculate. Oh, <laughs> Foreside. <laughs> Lame. I feel like I could have done a better job with the town puns in this game. Hit me. Go. Uh, well, let's see. Give me a two pun. Or... What? What? Oh! Oh, no! Well, howdy howdy right duty is onto us. Where's that glove connected? I'm also going to give these guys the heavy business because... Good lord. Blap! Blap! Yeah, damn right. Ugh. Creepy puppets. If Fornix. See... Like Phoenix Fornix. I'll accept that. And you already heard my opinion about three. I thought it should have been threebs. <laughs> what what if one were uh washing twine? Uh it needs to start with it. Okay. Oh, 
I will continue, Father. Alright, what's up, dude? Oh, God. We have to get separate rooms? Maybe, maybe, uh... Tucson is already pretty good. Yeah, Tucson's a decent name. I mean, that, that's right after a, a real city. You know. it is, it's punny in the right ways. We need to cut this, man. We're done. You just slept. Just so you know, it is... Hold on. 10.29. Alright, let's call it. Yeah, we're calling it here. That was a fine episode. Yeah, buddy. Had some laughs. We did some... We didn't do anything incredibly stupid, and I just saved our progress. In the correct yeah, slot. We, we made some progress in this one. Yeah, we this went to a whole new town. We didn't have to fight that many things. This is a pretty fun episode. I feel good about putting this episode in the can. If only our audience... Existed. Existed. Yeah. Catch you guys later. Whoever you are.